What in the golly G one two three is cracking with y'all today? As promised, I'm making a video about my performance at the Prelium, the local meet that I just recently did last week. But also from my last video, I asked y'all at the end of my video to comment hashtag 9am game if you made it all the way through. And um, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of disappointed. But for the people that did do it, bloop, 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 y'all some real ones for that. Everyone else, I'm gonna just give y'all the benefit of the doubt and say y'all didn't have a YouTube account. But anyways, if y'all are more interested on my whole experience at one of the first meets since COVID, my first meet since being selected for the world team, stick around because we going deep into it. Wait, what do I usually do next? <laughs> oh, duh. Alright, so this past weekend I competed in a local meet uh, in Orlando, about 25 minutes away from my house, so I'm very lucky to have that opportunity, because I've been chomping at the bit since this COVID stuff, and uh, big ups to Team Ole Concepts for taking the proper precautions, making everyone feel safe, and being one of the first to actually have an Olympic lifting meet. But just to give you guys some background, uh, prior to the meet, I've been on a training cycle where I just have been doing power snatches and power cleans. Uh, I haven't gotten into a deep squat. I haven't really gotten to any full cleans or snatches since my qualifier. So this meet, I came in with a goal of just maxing out my powers. And if you follow me on Instagram, you may have saw a few weeks ago, I maxed out and hit 96 on my power snatch which was somewhat controversial. That's the one that I put a poll on my Instagram, power or nah, and I got a little too much people saying nah. So this meet, I wanted to prove to everyone, your boy can power even more than that. So the night before, my dog, the bro, editing genius himself, CJ Rocks, came to Jalan to stay with us so that the next day, we both compete in the same session and that we could just drive the easy 25 minutes. And he was a little closer to the weight limit than I was, so I was just following his eating schedule, you know, being a good friend and all. So I weighed in 10 a.m. sharp, which is one of the perfect times in weightlifting to weigh in. And not eating breakfast before, I weighed 65.2, which is like, dang it boy, kind of gaining weight. But also I didn't really feel bloated or chubs at all. I felt really lean and I just felt good. So seeing 65.2, it really gave me an idea of, dang, dude, I still have some pounds to put on to fill out this weight class. But anyways, after we weighed in, we ate breakfast and then started warming up. In my warm-ups, I felt extremely good. I was feeling swole and flexy. I've been doing Ramwad all week prior to this. I've been getting good sleep, uh, drinking a lot of water. And so in the back, everything was snapping since I, I started. And so my teammates hit some beast snatches. Uh, my dog CJ hit a 94 kilo snatch. And so, you know me, I felt inclined to finish out the snatch show for the dogs. And so really, going into this meet, I just wanted to max out powers. And really, if it went into a full, it wouldn't have been a big deal. But the main goal of this meet was just to have fun, lift, and maybe get some PRs in the process. And so my first attempt was 91 kilos, which is about 200 pounds. That one stroked it, felt super easy. I don't know if 91 has ever felt better. And so after that, I took a four kilo jump up to 95, which is another lift that felt really good off the ground and just throughout the entire lift just snapped. And it was one of those powers where like, yo, I know for sure this was a power. And so at that point I was like, dang, I just hit 95 a few weeks ago. 40% of the people said no nah, to my 96. What should I do now? So coach Bryce, he asked me, he was like, yo, what you feeling? And I was like, you know I'm feeling good. Whatever you put on the bar, I'm hitting. And he was like, oh, for real? And I was like, yes. And so then we gave each other a look. We went up to 98 kilos, put 98 kilos on the bar for the two kilo PR. I didn't have any doubt in my mind that I could hit this. And so I did my little stroll up to the bar, felt good, felt confident, lifted it, bam, got under that junk, came up, and I was pretty dang sure in my head it was a power. Look to the audience, look to the audience, look to my team. 
They said it was power, so I was hyped, and I looked back to the video, and I swear, that jump was exactly parallel. And so when I say power, to those who may not know, I just look for if my hip crease was even or above where my knee crease was in the lowest part of my squat and the catch. I was hyped, two kilo PR from just a few weeks ago, that jump felt easy. So as I was warming up my cleans, my cleans didn't really feel as good as my snatches, but they were still popping. And actually, as I increased in weight, they felt better. So I was just keeping in mind as I was warming up in the back for my cleans, that a few weeks ago, I hit about 117 in the power clean. And so that just getting that or more would be an absolute win. And it also helped that CJ's clean and jerk was right about there. So we were kind of on the same level uh, with our warm ups and when we go out to take our attempts. And so I would hit one and CJ would hit one. And CJ hit one and then I hit one. And we kind of just carry that momentum out into the platform. And so I walk out on stage, 110 on the bar. And not gonna lie, that is one of the most promising power cleans I've ever done. All of the techniques I've been working on in training revealed itself in that clean and I caught it really high and it was like pristine. And so then I was like, yeah, coach, this feels good. So we bumped it up to 115 for my next attempt and this was getting kind of close to my max, but I walked out and the attempt looked almost as good as my first attempt, five kilos heavier. I powered it pretty clean, it was a little closer but it was still looked clean. And so then just chilling in the back again, Coach Bryce C was like, what you thinking? And I knew 117 was my best. I was feeling good, feeling confident. This was no pressure me, make or miss. It was all about just having fun. So I was like, I could hit 120 if you wanted to. And he was like, 120? And I was like, whatever you put on, I'm gonna hit it. That stupid fly I've been flying around, finally killed that dunk. But anyways, uh, my coach thought it was a good decision to just go for the 2 kilo PR at 119, which is about 262-ish, I believe. And so last attempt, going for the 6 for 6, trying to nail a power clean, get PRs in both of my lifts. I go out, clean it, the pool felt pretty good, but it was a little more forward than my other ones. I really wanted that power, so it almost slipped forward as I was trying to not sink below parallel. And unfortunately, I think I did go just below, but I came up easy out of it and drilled the jerk as I should have. I legit looked to the side, looked at my coaches. One coach says yes, one coach says, eh, I don't know about that. My dog, Steven Velasquez, he's like, eh, I don't know about that. Another person's like, there's absolutely no way. But either way, ended that junk on a good note. Looking back, it probably wasn't a power, but the biggest thing was it felt good. And it was my first time going six for six in forever. But all in all, I ended up getting first place in my weight class for the competition. And it was just so good to be in that meet atmosphere, honestly. I'm the type of person that lives for meets. I feel like I perform the best when I got the spotlight on me, the crowd watching, and I get to perform, really, and just show off what I've been working on in practice. And the meet was so well put together. Most of the people who weren't lifting had masks on. Uh, we kept our distance for the most part. Uh, my body weight felt awesome. And so it was all about just having fun, vibing with my teammates, and that's exactly what I did. So my performance at this meet was a telltale sign of how the next few months leading up to Worlds is gonna be. I'm quite excited. Uh, everything felt really good, and I'm excited to start pushing the fools a little bit, seeing how my powers have gone up. It's only right that my fools go up too, right? And so the next meet on my radar is States in mid-October. That'll be another in-person meet, which is what I love, what I look forward to the most. And then after October is November, which is hopefully my Youth Worlds meet in Peru. But whether I compete or not, I'm really just proud of how I've been lifting this year with everything going on. And just the fact that I'm able to be in the mix of international teams being a few kilos short of filling out my weight class is just something that I'm definitely happy about. And yeah, that's kind of it. If y'all liked the video, please, it would mean a lot if you just gave that junk a thumbs up. I'm trying to constantly post these clips on my TikTok to kind of gain that outreach to bring some more people into our community and also just endorse these videos on my Instagram. So 
If somehow you made it here and you made it to the end of this video, uh, you're obviously invested and I appreciate your support. Y'all keep making your money moves. Uh, hopefully y'all get to compete in some competition soon if you haven't already. And uh, keep up the grind. Doom.